Searching for answers and a killer. The family of a Morgan State University student is left wondering why their loved one was gunned down in Northeast Baltimore. 21 year old Kevin Dix was a member of the Morgan State University Choir. Rick Ritter joins us now with more on this sad and developing story. Rick. Oh, Vic, your heart absolutely aches for this family. This is a young man who had everything going for him. He was smart, he was talented, and was just weeks away from graduation, doing everything we want young adults in this city to do. He was shot and killed when walking to his car Wednesday night. iPhones, laptop, wallet, all untouched, leaving us with more questions than answers. <laughs> just his personality, just the person that he was. He was just like, just sunshine to everybody. From sunshine to the darkest of days, Annette and Kenneth Dix are living a parent's worst nightmare for 21-year-old boy, another victim of Baltimore's senseless violence. And it doesn't matter what neighborhood you live in. It doesn't matter what your upbringing is. It can happen to anybody. Wednesday night, officers respond to the 3400 block of Mary Avenue for a report of a shooting. That's where they find Dix, a Morgan State University student shot just outside his car. I guess when they found him at, outside of his car by the car to on the ground, and he had the, the sheet or whatever over top of him, and we knew then that he was gone. Annette says her son was leaving a friend's apartment, and despite having iPhones and a laptop on him, none of that was touched. They didn't take anything, nothing. All of that is, you know, was still there in the car, but they took his life. Dick says police are still looking for a motive and whether it was a case of mistaken identity. Kavan was a member of Morgan State's choir. Love, let's talk about love. A voice that was destined for greatness. Always an optimism, a twinkle in his eye, the bounce in his step. Dix was set to graduate in December and hoped to be involved with Broadway or even give voice lessons. He was already famous. Yeah. What he wanted to achieve, he had already achieved and he just didn't know it. And while his killer remains on the loose, Kevon's family remains shattered, holding on to justice. But whoever did this to him, I hope that your heart is as heavy as ours. So sad. Now, the 21-year-old also worked as a toll collector for the Maryland Transportation Authority. Anyone with information in this case is urged to call police immediately.